Before we rehearse, I have an announcement to make. Our boy Grizz is getting married on May 22nd. Jeez, another wedding. Life is like TV. Testing tells us that people like weddings, births, and episodes where a character dies. That's dumb. My heart! So I thought Grizz might want to take this time to announce who's going to be his best man. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, I haven't decided yet. You sound like my mother talking to the Planned Parenthood lady. Seriously, which one of your rich and famous friends with hepatitis B are you going to pick? Let's not do this in front of everybody. Let's not do this in front of everybody. You sound like my mother being pulled on stage at a two live crew concert. Damn. My mother had problems. Hey, Tracy. Grizz and I were just talking. Of course, you guys are very close. Continue. And we had an amazing idea. We thought that maybe at the wedding, you could be the lead singer of the band. Really? I'd be awesome at that. You would. Now, of course, you couldn't sing and... But who's going to tell you two? The wedding band is you two? No, you two idiots. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to manipulate me into not being the best man. And damn it, Chris, I've known you since you were six feet tall. I'm gonna be your best man. I am the leader of this entourage. And because of you, I'm having a tantrum. Now pick up that table and smash it for me. Best man, I know that. Yeah, Vietnamese size two. Beth, I hope it wasn't awkward for you when Tracy brought up my wedding. Why would it be awkward? Because of our sexual past. Mm. Leave it open. I'd feel safer. How can I help you, Grizz? Well, Tracy keeps pushing. To be your best man, yeah, I noticed that. But I want to pick .com. And, and you're afraid that Tracy will freak out. So you want me to help you convince him to step aside. You know my every thought, Beth. We really were the same in Diana, this place. Hey, dummy, what are you doing to Grizz? Whoa, you watch your mouth before I show you the back of my hand. Look, you gotta grow up about this best man thing. Liz Lemon, I don't even want to be best man. Why would I? Show up one time, not lose a ring, keep my shirt on through a dinner? Then why are you throwing a fit about it? Because I'm trying to protect .com, dummy. He's in love with Grizz's fiance. Fiance. Oh, your stutter is back. No, Grizz's fiance's name is fiance, like Beyonce with an F. Ah, oh, come on. Listen, we cannot make .com get up there and give a speech at that wedding. It'll kill him. Wow, I can't believe that you are using your infantile selfishness for good. I'm impressed, Tracy. You think that's impressive? Watch me stand on one foot. Ah. Hang on, I did it earlier. You're right, Tracy. You've got to convince Grizz to choose you. No, you do. Why do I have to do everything? Oh, I am never going to fit in that dress. Ford. Beth, I need you to do something for me. Yeah, actually, I need to talk to you about the wedding. I'm too upset to talk. Look at me. What's this? Grizz has asked me to read this to both of you. Dear friends, I don't want any more fighting or bad feelings. Tracy, I love you, but I've known .com ever since we went to Above the Beanstalk, a free summer camp for giants. I want him to be my best man, and if you care about me, you'll respect my decision. I will always be your, oh no, I'm white. I can't read that word. Um, friend from the neighborhood, Grizz. I'm so honored. Now no one is getting hurt. No one at all. Thanks, guys. I'm so happy. <laughs>